So I'm gonna take a break from splitting wood. And what I'm gonna do real quick for you is I wanna compare competitive pistol shooting to fighting in the UFC. So I've been shooting pistols competitively for six years now. Mostly I've done IDPA, a few other things, but mostly IDPA. Um, I'm also a law enforcement officer. And I've been a police officer for a little over 16 years now in a major metropolitan city with a very high crime rate. So I've seen a lot of, a lot of bad stuff. And when you talk about competitive shooting of people, you, you get these people that go, competitions aren't real life, they're a game. I bet you don't wear your tactical fishing vest in real life. In real life, you're never gonna go that fast. You're not gonna run through a house. Shooting those competitions, you're gonna build up a lot of bad habits that's gonna get you killed. Now, first and foremost, the people that say stuff like that generally probably have never shot a competition or they've never been in a fight for their life. And I've done both on multiple occasions. So I think I know a little bit something about this. All right, so let's just jump into the comparison. I'm comparing competitive pistol shooting and UFC. And I'm comparing it to the UFC because everybody knows what the UFC is. Even if you're not a fight fan, it's pretty popular. It's on TV all the time. Everybody knows what it is. If I'm a UFC fighter and I'm going to fight, I guess what I get to do? I get to warm up. All right, I'm in the back room and I'm doing my thing, getting warmed up and stretching out, getting loose. Um, I get to wrap my hands up to protect my hands. I get to put gloves on. I get to wear something that's comfortable to fight in, like a karate gi or some, some fight shorts. When I go out there and fight, I'm going to have a referee in the ring with me. So if somebody cheats, they can call penalties or disqualify people. Um, I'm going to be in this ring that has a nice soft mat, right? The, the, the mat is way softer than, than the sidewalk or the concrete. Um, so I think it'd be safe to say the UFC is not real life, right? It's not real life. In real life, there is no warming up. In real life, there is no wrapping your hands up before you fight. In real life, there are no gloves. There's no nice, comfortable uh, uh, karate uniforms or fight shorts to wear. There's not a third person standing there to make sure nobody cheats in the fight. There are no rules in a real fight. In a real fight, generally what's going to happen, you're probably going to be on the sidewalk or in the street where it's very, very hard, very unforgiving. You're probably going to be wearing clothes that really probably aren't going to be comfortable to fight in. Um, you have all this stuff stacked against you. The UFC is nowhere near real life. But root of me this, right now if I said step your ass outside and we're about to throw down and you knew you were going to fight me or anybody for that matter, if you knew you were about to get in the fight, would you want that skill set? Would you want to know how to throw a good punch? Would you want to know how to throw elbows and knees and kick and grapple and, and, and uh, choke and defend against all that stuff? Would you want that skill set if you knew right now you were going to go be in a fight? Goddamn right I would want those skills. I think that's an easy question to answer. Of course, if you were about to get in a fight, you would want to be able to have that skill set to punch and kick and choke and throw and defend against all those things. Of course you would want that. Well, that's what you get when you shoot pistols competitively with things like IDPA or USPSA. I mean, if you get into a situation, if you're a CPL holder, you're a police officer, something happens, somebody pulls a gun or is about to pull a gun or there's some kind of deadly threat, would you want to be able to pull your gun out really fast and shoot really accurate? Of course you would. Would you want to be able to do a reload really fast if you were in a really bad situation and you had to empty a whole magazine and you're still in a fight? Is it a bad thing to be able to reload fast? Is it a bad thing to be able to draw your gun and move and be in different crazy funky positions and still be able to shoot fast and accurate? Is it a bad thing to be able to shoot from a lot of the props that they have you shoot from, like cars, opening doors, carrying dummies, um, shooting with one hand, shooting on the move, shooting at moving targets? All of those skills are skills you would absolutely want and need if you got into a real life situation, a real life shootout, a real life deadly threat encounter, a real life fight for your life. Now I get it. Shooting competitions like IDPA and USPSA, it's a game. It's an absolutely a game. It's a competition. It's not real life. But it's not real life the same way the UFC is not real life. Neither one of those two things are real life. But the skill set you get from both of those are what you would need if you got into a, whether it was a fist fight or whether it was a shootout, whatever it is, both of those um, skill sets are things that you would want to have. They don't have to be real life. I don't get why people think everything has to be real life. Do, do I need you to stand up range and, or maybe down range and you shoot rounds at me for me to learn something? No. You got all these people that want to talk about real life and train like you fight and you watch these YouTube videos or you go to the gun range and you see people with all this body armor and multi-cam and thigh rigs that aren't in the military, that aren't police officers, why are you wearing all that shit? If you want to train like real life, you should probably train with clothes that you wear on a normal daily basis. If somebody breaks in your house at three in the morning, you're probably going to be in your underwear or in some kind of pajamas or something, whatever you sleep in. Why don't you go to the gun range and shoot in that? 
Train like you fight, right? That's what you're supposed to do. It's got to be real life because it's not real life. It won't work. Competitions are bullshit. That'll get you killed. No, what it is is you're scared. So there are three, three reasons why somebody won't shoot competitively. One is it's just not your thing. And I get that. And I'm cool with that because you know what? Golf isn't my thing. That doesn't mean I'm any less of a person because I don't play golf. It doesn't mean you're any less of a person because you don't shoot competitively. It's just not your thing. I'm fine with that. Reason number two is that they tried and they got their ass kicked on the first time. So instead of having the, the intestinal fortitude to train and practice and try to get a little bit better, they go, oh, that's stupid. It's stupid. That'll get you killed. No, you just suck. That's what it is. And then there's the third thing. And the third thing is this. The third thing is the people that never even bothered to try. And those people are pussies. So to sum this up, the UFC is not real life. But I bet damn well, if you're not a fighter, you're not out there lining up to fight with somebody who has that skill set. The same way people aren't lining up to get in a gunfight with somebody who is a serious um, um, competitive pistol shooter. You can't match those skills if you're not doing that. You can't match the UFC skills and you can't match the shooting skills. So instead of whining about how it's not real life and it'll get you killed, if you're in a line of work that makes you carry a gun, you should probably be doing both of these things. You should probably be learning about martial art. You should probably be learning how to shoot better than you do. You should probably be learning how to shoot in a more realistic and more combat effective realistic way instead of whining about how everything's not real life and it'll get you killed while you're sitting uh, behind your desk not doing a damn thing. Get off your ass, out of your seat, and learn something that will save your or my life.